Hi, welcome to another blank page. I'm Alex Neat. Today I introduced myself to Berlin Inspire, which was not only inspiring, but I found it really quick and easy to just get my ideas sketched out. And this is the sketch I came up with. And now we can take a look into the process. Alright, so today I'm going to switch things up and start with a melody and also go a little faster. The BPM is at 120 right now, the default, and uh, we're at 3 4 time, in 3 4 time. <laughs> so, all of our articulations loaded, and a bunch of duplicates of the percussion, so I can break that out however I'd like. Uh, let's find. How about. Solo horn to start with. I think I'll record something kind of like that. I like that. Nice. A little rushed. Very good. I'm going to copy this to the trumpet, and it has a more aggressive attack, so I'll probably have to adjust some of these. All right, that's pretty good. Second time around, let's drag this to something else. We have trumpet and horn octaves. Let's try that. <laughs> There's some strings. We have violins one and two. Make it kind of a response to the other melody. And let's give that a little bit of, of weight and we'll copy it to these octaves also. What else can we play with? How about... Let's play with all these octaves. I like these a lot. Some low strings. That's 
That's cool. Uh, we'll go with that for now. For the sake of time, doing it this way. And that A sharp needs to be a B. Clean this up. <laughs> I could not quite play that for some reason. My fingers were very uncoordinated. That works. All right. So let's copy this. Kind of have a sound in my head. I'm going to try to get it out as quickly as I can so it doesn't go away. I want this to be big. quieter for that. That's a better contrast. And so this I will just take down to C. Glockenspiel. gentle dissonance. Couldn't quite play it as gently as I wanted. <laughs> Just pull that all the way down. Uh, all the way down. 
Try that. Yeah. Subtle. Just adds a little flavor. Uh, let's pair this with a woodwind. A soon clarinet octaves. So if you need, you know, be turned up. Maybe I don't want that on everyone. Maybe the first half I do. And some chords here. Now we get to some chords. That should work. We'll try this. Well, I probably don't want to, probably don't want to play those in the piano. I want to muddy it up. Let's do that. Keep it simple. That didn't come out. I don't know if I like this yet, but we shall see. Uh, I put these down. Let's do exactly what I played when I was coming up with the idea. Yeah, that works. Uh, harp. Maybe the same thing an octave up. Well, probably not so tough. Maybe just uh, rolling chords on top, an octave over the piano. It gives it a little sparkle. I think I'm okay with this. And again, take those down to the C. Everything else remains the same. Play with some percussion now. What all do we have? All kinds of stuff. Bass drums are really nice. Maybe we should support the timpani a bit. I always like adding more low end. <laughs> Just because I can't get enough of it. I know some people are cautious with it. I am not like that. Yeah, I feel that thump now. Not obtrusive, but you just kind of feel it in your chest more. use triangles often. 
Probably not that loud. Elsewhere. Symbols. Start with this. Kind of subtle, and then <laughs> something along those lines. I like that sound. Draw these in. Something like that. I want that again. It's probably a little much. Yeah, just a little kind of splash there. And then this time around, I want it big again. Look at that. That was too loud, though. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, so we have some symbols. What else? Alternate the triangle with the finger symbol. I love finger symbols. <laughs> First hit did not come out. Should be fine. Just roll those out. Rolling out pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> kind of double the timpani of that. Well, not double, but you know, layer. I think 
that's good. These have a slow attack, so pull them all back, turn them up. A little loud. some castanets. Those are essential. <laughs> Let's switch this to triplets and get some rolls in here. Uh. Sloppy, but... That works. Okay. Uh, let's maybe even these out. I think we need a beginning and an ending that just kind of comes out of nowhere. Even though this is just getting a basic idea down, I kind of hate to just leave it there. <laughs> uh, okay. Start with a timpani intro. Probably more than that, but. That was very sloppy. As is reflected by this timing here. Oh, let's take this off triplets. I like how these cut off when released so you don't get a bunch of mud. Uh, but I do want these to ring, so do that. Maybe a little a little less than maximum. So it hits harder when we get here. <laughs> Sounds very clumsy. Try to fix that. Uh, too high. I don't want that in the beginning. Uh, haven't used the room and xylophone yet. Way too low. That's better. Shh. 
Sure. <laughs> okay. That's quite high. That's better. And I use the ensembles yet. Bring the support over here. Ah, that's already better. <laughs> and these are triangles right here, right? Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we have winds. Kind of cool harmony. Sloppy. I don't think this is going to get a whole lot better. <laughs> I will grab this for now and copy it. Actually, I'll just drag over to here. And we'll make a louder version of that, definitely, for the end here. So I'll start with this, I guess. I guess this needs an ending note, doesn't it? Do the same thing here, have an octave, give it a note to end on. Getting somewhere. Have something to end on there. I need space to decay. Um, let's see, we have our shakers here. We can Get those going a little faster. And castanets. Where was that?
switch back to these triplets for this. And what do we have here? Tambourine. here that symbols there we go I want that one in there. This timing needs some work. Okay, I think that sounds all right. So let's listen back from the beginning now. Without the metronome. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.